What's up Amazon sellers? Starting March 2022, fulfillment by Amazon through the EFN or European Fulfillment Network, which is between the UK and the EU, is going to reopen via the European Fulfillment Network. Now, if you want to know what this is and what the things you need to know about the EFN in 2022 and how to actually activate it on your account, then stay tuned because I'm going to share all with you in this video today. Right, if you don't know about me, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now doing online arbitrage for the last five years. And I'm now a seven figure seller in the UK, check that out. And in the USA, we're now doing six figures, check that out. Now, hopefully in the near future, I'm gonna be, should we say, expanding into a new marketplace. And if you want to know how I'm doing it, what I'm learning and my journey, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, so let's jump into what you're here to actually hear about. Well, first things first, number one, what is the European Fulfillment Network? Well, before we dig deeper into EFN or the European Fulfillment Network in 2022, let me first give you a short background about what it actually is. According to Amazon Seller Central, the European Fulfillment Network or EFN allows you say Amazon EU sellers who are under, you say the Fulfillment by Amazon program, FBA, to store their inventory in the local fulfillment center and fulfill orders coming from other European marketplaces. Now, basically this means that, should we say, the European Fulfillment Network simplifies inventory management by keeping all the inventory in, should we say, your local country, your local pool, you know, that one fulfillment center, and then actually shipping it to the other countries when those orders come in from the other countries, which aren't your local fulfillment center. Now, this allows you to have flexibility, or should we say more flexibility of your goods, and obviously you only need to store them in one place. Now, quite simply, with EFN, you can store all your products in your local country's fulfillment center and then have international orders fulfilled from that country. Now that means that you can sell on all marketplaces, even though you're only storing your goods exclusively in you say, one country, so long as it's within the EU. So you might be asking the question, how is this different to standard fulfillment by Amazon or standard FBA? Well, quite simply, what FBA is their fulfillment network? Now, normally when you sign up to FBA, Amazon FBA, what you're gonna get is that you're gonna be storing your products in your local country. Say for example, me, my local marketplace would be the UK. I would be storing all my products in the UK warehouses and I would only be able to fulfill those orders to or orders from UK's customers from the UK warehouses. Now, say for example, if I had a customer in Germany, I wouldn't be able to ship to them because they're outside of the UK and I'm only shipping to sellers within the UK from my FBA fulfillment centers. If say, for example, if I'm part of the ENF program, I still hold all my stock in the UK, but now if a customer from Germany wants to buy from me, they can because Amazon will now take those goods from my UK warehouse in Amazon's warehouses and ship them to the German customer via the EFN, European Fulfillment Network, which will enable Europe, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain, and obviously anyone else part of that to get access to my stock. What does it mean? Well, it means basically, I now have more customers who can buy my stock. That means more sales, more sales, more revenue, and more profits. So let's give you a little bit of a background into what happened. Now, basically back in 2021, the British government announced that the United Kingdom will officially separate from the European Union. And with this, should we say all UK based businesses were affected. And also as well, the shipments from the UK going into the EU and the EU coming into the UK. Now with this, Amazon announced that they were going to close or temporarily close their fulfillment operations between the UK and the EU. Now this made the previous version of EFN unavailable for Amazon FBA sellers who were previously storing stock in the UK and shipping to the EU via the EFN program. Now, one year later, Amazon announced that in March 2022, they're now gonna reopen their fulfillment operations between the UK and the EU. This means that they're gonna reopen that European fulfillment network in 2022, but there are some things you need to be aware. So let's proceed. And what do you need to understand about EFN in 2022? Okay, guys, so today we're talking about EFN. Now, the question I wanna be asking you is, are you going to actually be selling using the EFN European Fulfillment Network, yes or no? Drop me a yes or a no down in the comments below. I'm really interested to know. 
will you be selling using the European Fulfillment Network? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so this leads me nicely onto the second chapter. What do you need to know about EFN in 2022? Well, look, there are lots of things that you're gonna to need to know about EFN, which are changes from the original, but here are the most important things that you're going to need to know. Okay, so EFN is gonna go live again in March, 2022. And you as an Amazon seller, if you wanna sell through the EFN program, you're gonna to have to actually say request permission or set that up and then enroll your your products, your offers through the EFN program available to be purchased through the other EU countries. Now, as a seller, what you're going to get is you're going to receive email confirmation from Amazon, number one, when enrollment is complete into the EFN program, and then number two, obviously, when the international offers are set up. And we'll go through that later on today in this video. Now, what does that mean? Your products can be held in the UK warehouse and obviously shipped through to any European country through the EFN network. Okay, so let's jump on the computer now and show you how to actually activate EFN the new way in 2022 on your account in Amazon Seller Central. Okay, so just logged in now. And first things first, what you want to do is come up to here and you want to, you want to come down and click on Fulfillment by Amazon. So click on that. So once you get here, you'll see under here it says cross-border fulfillment settings and down here EFN between the UK and the EU. You are not enrolled for EFN between the UK and the EU. That is what we want to change. So we come up here and click edit. And then what we're going to do is just scroll down and it's got here EFN between the UK and the EU. It talks a little bit about it there. And what we want to do is use UK inventory to fill orders too. And we want to obviously tick these just to make sure they're what we want. And then when we're done, we click update and that is it. So if you just clarify here, this is saying you use our UK inventory to ship orders to these countries. And what we're not doing right now is to say use UK, EU inventory to ship orders back to the UK. So because we don't have any UK EU inventory. So just the UK side there, that's it. And then click update. Very simple. Okay, so now that you've enabled EFN in your Amazon Seller Central account, what are the products that are eligible for EFN? Now, this is something important to understand. Now, according to Amazon, the price of eligible products that must initially say that are going to be shipped through the EFN program, they cannot exceed 135 euros or 122 pounds in the UK. Now, once enrolled, you can check the eligibility of your offers through the European Fulfillment Network ASIN eligibility report in the pan-European FBA inventory reports. A bit complex, so basically go to your pan-European and you'll see the European Film Network ASIN eligibility report. So it'll show you what ASINs are available. Now, generally speaking, it's going to be because of that price. So obviously, when you think about your prices, you might want to be thinking about putting the max price to what, what I just said. Now, if you want to know more about EFN in 2022, what I'm going to do is drop a link down below, obviously, to the Amazon guidelines on that and support, just so you can see a bit more detail. But do check it out. Okay, so today we're talking about EFN selling in a whole new marketplace. And obviously, this is for filling from warehouses within the EUK. Now, the interesting thing for you is what you want to think about is this is going give you more opportunity to buy low, resell high on Amazon. And it's really the reselling part. Now, interesting enough, what does this mean? It's going to be more revenue, more revenue means more profit. Now, quite simply, what you're going to be thinking about is obviously now you've got bigger opportunities, more marketplaces to sell on. How can you take advantage of this? Well, you need products to buy low, to resell high for a profit. Now, if you are struggling for products to resell and or should say find, then what I'd recommend for you is look at Fast Track FBA Leads. This is a service I created whereby we have a team of sources in the UK and the USA sourcing seven days a week, finding deals for your Amazon business. And what do we do? Every single deal we find, we put them onto our web platform. You come in, you buy tokens, you review every deal that you like. When you find the ones that match your criteria, we then quite simply, you exchange the tokens for that deal, get the supplier URL and the Amazon ASIN, then buy it, ship it into Amazon, then make the sales. Now, this is a completely game changer. No one else does anything like it. And the fact that we have deals that are available for new sellers and ungated deals is completely different to anything else. If you want to know more, have a look at the link down below, Fast Track FBA Leads. Trust me, I think you're going to love it. Okay, so this leads me on to the third chapter, my personal thoughts. With Amazon's announcement about EFN, the question arises, you know, Amazon sellers like me, you know, are they going to enable EFN on our seller central account? You know, are they going to do it or are they not? Now, quite simply, I asked, you know, the Fast Track FBA UK community if they are going to sell again using the EFN network to resell, obviously, into the 
European marketplaces. And here are their responses. 32 of our voters said, yes, they are going to do it. 14 of them voted for no. And there were nine people who were unsure. Now, I think from this, the poll generally implies that there are going to be many sellers you say, in the fast track FBA community that are going to be selling again, should we say, in the EU through the EFN network. But as you can see in the poll, I actually voted for no. And you might be asking the question, why? Well, there's a couple of things I think you need to be unaware of, or should we say aware of with it. First things first, number one, well, the one thing which I am aware of is that your stock is going to go from a UK warehouse to the customer in, say, Germany, for example. Now, if that customer doesn't like this product and they want to return it, where does it go? But it doesn't come back to the UK, it comes back to Germany. Now, what does that mean? But well, now you've got stock in German warehouses and there's things like VAT issues around that because as a UK company, we're not registered for that in the EU or in Germany, for example. But when we hold stock in German warehouses, we should be registered. So there is a possible thing there to say that if you're doing enough volume and you get a lot of stockholders in German warehouses, there is a likelihood that you may need to be registered for VAT in that country, which again creates compliance issues. Now, that isn't one of the, re the main reasons why I'm not doing it. There is another reason. For me, you probably heard at the very beginning, I sell in the UK, I sell in the USA. Later on, we're actually looking to start in another marketplace. Well, which marketplace is that? That is going to be Germany. Now, interesting enough, if I'm selling with one company in the UK and I create another company in Germany, and let's say, for example, my UK company is now selling in the German marketplace through EFM, what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to own two companies which are selling potentially the same product or on the same listing in the same marketplace. And what is that? That is against Amazon's terms of service. And that could lead to me losing both companies. So just to save, if you say, make it fairer, make it easier, and to make sure that I don't breach Amazon terms of service, not so much for about the, the return shipping issue, but more for the fact that I don't want to be breaching terms of service, I'm not going to be doing EFN because I'm looking to start again another Amazon account in Germany. Now, what what I will say is selling in the EU through EFN is generally a really good opportunity. It's not as good as it was because of that 135 euro limit or 122 pounds. But I do think that if you are a UK seller right now, not looking to create another company like myself, this is a good opportunity and you should take advantage of it. Now, a top tip is a lot of people are basically making sure that when they do their repricer into the European Fulfillment Network, into the EU, they're generally putting about 30, 40% on top of their price in the UK. And the way to really think about this is that you're not really looking to be competitive in the EU. What you are looking to say is that if someone wants to buy your product and obviously it's gonna be a lot more expensive in the EU, then they're gonna buy it and obviously you're still gonna cover all your costs with the EFN fees because they are considerably higher than what the, should we say, the UK FBA fees are. So a lot of people put about 30, 40% on top of their UK prices. And the result is that that's now gonna make it so it covers the cost. And again, it will probably add maybe five to 10% extra sales per month onto your products is generally what people see. But I probably wouldn't say worrying about being competitive. It's just an extra marketplace which can help grow your business. Now the EFN should say, opportunity is a great opportunity to sell internationally on Amazon. But if you wanna sell your listings internationally without listing Listing your products internationally, and I know that's a bit of a tongue twister, then what I would do or check out is the Amazon Global Selling Program and make sure you've got that turned on as well. I'll leave a video around here, check that out. I think that is also gonna help grow your sales as well. But what I will say is hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.